It is the 18th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start on SOT.net tonight. Minor quakes hit Puerto Rico, no report of damage. I counted almost 30 earthquakes. A magnitude 5.3 and slightly weaker one shook Puerto Rico early on Saturday, but there were no immediate reports of damages or casualties. The epicenter of the stronger quake was 8 miles uh, west-northwest of Puerto Rico, real on the Caribbean island, west coast at a depth of 14.4 miles. Uh, the U.S. Geological Survey said a weaker quake of 5.1 magnitude struck the same area three minutes earlier. And again, they're having several, they have quite a little uh, earthquake swarm going on. Fukushima, Japanese media skeptical, skeptical about contaminant claims. It was at a Tokyo, Japanese media simmered with doubts on Saturday about a government announcement that the world's worst nuclear accident in 25 years had been contained with the tsunami-stricken Fukushima Daiichi plant in the state of cold shutdown. Yeah, right. Uh, U.S. abandons toxic burn pits as it withdraws from Iraq and Afghanistan. American troops are among the victims of the Pentagon's pollute-and-run policy. U.S. service members and their Iraqi and Afghan allies have a common en enemy. It's not Iran, the Taliban, or Al-Qaeda, but the Pentagon, which operated hundreds of toxic burn pits in Iraq and Afghanistan. As the U.S. completes its withdrawal from Iraq and begins to draw down in Afghanistan, the American military, pursuant to its pollute-and-run policy, is, it a, is abandoning millions of kilograms of toxic and potentially radioactive waste. Everything is being buried over and covered over, just as it did in Vietnam and the Philippines when the U.S. withdrew from Clark Air Force Base and the Subic Bay Naval Installation. The Pentagon seems to hope that all the health problems of the U.S. troops can like, likewise be buried and covered over. It's a sad state of affairs. India, statewide zoo alert on crow's death. Team from UN, center in uh, Jharkhand for probe. Deaths of 4,000 crows across the state in three months prompted a high-level joint team of the United Nations and Union government to arrive on Thursday to probe why the phenomenon was limited to home scavengers and spurred the state to issue a blanket alert to, to all the 24 districts, zoos, and parks. I got another small earthquake uh, reported near Alaska's Harp Array. Well, that was back on the 8th. Over to the Extinction Protocol. And so it begins. Philipp Filipino politician says 2012 will be a very difficult year. Um, Manila, Philippines. Uh, he's not optimistic about the incoming year, describing 2012 as a very difficult year due to the economic crisis gripping Europe and the U.S. He said that the situation on the local front could be aggravated by the impeachment trial by the Senate of Chief Justice come January 12th. And, uh, yeah, on top of all the weather they've been having. 2012's expanding political potential threat theater... Uh, 2012's expanding potential theater of conflict. Russian rocket launches six intelligence satellites into orbit. And the war drums are beating, of course. Uh, we got a city in southern Mexico wants to live each moment as if it were its last. Tourism official in Tapachula have installed a digital clock to count down the time left before the December 12, 2012 solstice. When some believe the world will end. The clock starts on December 21st, a year before the supposed apocalypse, and they're ripe this up as a tourist thing. Um, basically, the Mayans say this is not the end of the world. Indonesia, Ijen volcano go, goes on increased alert to yellow. Um, the alert level of the volcano in East Java has been raised to. Two out of four due to the increased seismic activity and the increased temperatures inside the crater, famous for the turquoise acid lake and the sulfur deposits, which are being quarried by workers. Uh, the exclusion zone is one kilometer around the crater has been established. Workers and tur tourists are currently not allowed to go inside the crater. 
Uh, the last time it erupted was 1999. Tropical storm Washi leaves 440 dead as it slams into the Philippines. Uh, they don't have enough problems right now. Pounding rain and tropical storm swelled rivers and sent walls of water crushing into two southern Philippine cities in the thick of the night, killing at least 436 people, many caught in their beds, officials said on Saturday. Philippine Red Cross Secretary General told the Associated Press that the, the latest toll was based on a body count in funeral parlors. She said that 215 died uh, in Cagayan, and uh, it goes on and on. Deadly amount of participation. NASA's trim satellite noticed that the tropical storm washi approached the Philippines Islands. Heavy rainfall had become more widespread than the previous day. Uh, when the trim satellite passed over the washi later December 15th, heavy rainfall was more widespread throughout the entire storm. Uh, they also saw areas of heavy rain falling at 2 inches per hour in the east, north, and western quadrants of the storm. And they're saying uh, it's unlike anything ever seen. Army spokesman uh, Colonel said search and rescue operations would continue along the shorelines. Um, I can't explain how these things happened. Entire villages were swept into the sea by flash floods. And they have videos on that, of course. That's about all they have new tonight. There's really nothing going on on RSOE except for what I've already covered. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the nuclear stuff. Uh, 52 Fukushima workers hit with high fever, diarrhea, vomiting, some hospital. Only three test positive for flu viruses. CBS, new photos from West Coast show large amounts of tsunami debris. Feel the, si feel the size of California headed toward the U.S. as estimate. Photos and videos included, of course. Um, Mag. Cerium and plutonium outside Fukushima plant indicate nuclear explosion at reactor number three. Broken spent nuclear fuel rods may have been scattered. May have been scattered. Did you see that explosion? A major U.S. paper editorial. Some scientists predict one million people will die from cancer due to radio radiation exposure after Fukushima. I would guess their numbers are very, very low. And government needs to explain risk of more explosions at Fukushima. Nothing but speculation uh, that fuel is being cooled by water. That's nothing but speculation. A report radioactive strontium detected near Tokyo. Uh, 348 becquerels per kilogram. And uh, that is about all they have new tonight. Um, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or leave your videos below. Uh, enjoy what I can, everybody. Thanks for all your support.